first of all, you guys are giving the gays everything <laughs> they could possibly want and need <laughs> with this series. Every time we post anything about this show, they are, they need it. Well, we're well, here to give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> we hope we, hope we will. Yeah, I know we hope. Oh. I mean, you know what you were doing, casting gay icon Julianne Moore <laughs> and red, white, and raw blue star Nicholas Galaxy. Oh, you... well. I didn't, I didn't mean... cast Julianne Moore. Oh, <laughs> well, cast me. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a winning formula. This series is dark, it's salacious, and it's gay as hell. <laughs> this is your first TV gig. Oliver. It is. So why was the story of Mary and George the right one for you to adapt for your first TV project? I mean, it was the whole package. It was the writing, mm. it was the actress, it was the opportunity to work at mm. scale. It was all the things that I was wanting to try out. And, you know, television is this interesting space at the minute mm. where you have bigger landscapes to tell human stories. So uh, it was all just attractive mm -hmm. and scary. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary is yeah. conniving, manipulative, fierce. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. incredible how much fun was it to play this character it was a lot of fun I mean she's so I think what I loved most about her is that she's so active mm. you know she's somebody who has an idea and acts on it immediately and there's an urgency to what she does because she's it's really about self-preservation you know she's someone who doesn't have any agency any yeah. autonomy she doesn't have any authority or power except through the people the men that she's married to or through mm -hmm. her male children and so she's like how do I how do I access this how do I how do I thrive and she doesn't stop for a minute the minute she sees a path forward she just keeps going mm. I mean you feel for her at times as well like for example the scene this is probably a spoiler so I might have to edit this out yeah. but um, episode 3 when yeah. she's being mocked for her her outfit right. yeah. which I right. thought was perfectly alright I know I liked it <laughs> But she's not afraid she, to try. Yeah, no. that's the thing. She she's goes. Doing it intentionally. Of course, <laughs> yeah. say that. But you know, she's she's she's, she's not she's not afraid of anything. Yeah, that's what's. But but I also feel like she's someone who knows that she has nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You know. It's funny because she was described as evil and a witch. We didn't know, know much about her, did we? No, we know very little about her. Um, I think she was probably pretty fierce and ambitious and female, and yeah. that in and of itself gets villainized. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I have to ask you this, Julianne, because yeah. you've been in so many queer projects, mm -hmm. incredible ones, iconic ones. But this feels like, I think this feels like the gayest thing you've ever been a part of. And I want to know if you think the same, because it is so gay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, I guess, I mean, is it the gay stuff? I've done some gay yeah. stuff. But I do think that a lot of the characters have a fluidity, mm. right? So so rather than seeing like the, through the lens of one or two mm. queer characters, you're seeing that everybody feels pretty mm. fluid. Um, and there's a freedom to it as well. Mm. There's not there, there there aren't people who are hiding or who are ashamed of their sexuality or their relationships. So in that sense, I think that's very unusual, right? <laughs> you know, and that it's historical <laughs> fiction that's that's portrayed this way as well. I feel but like yeah. you've done sophisticated gay and this is like <laughs> sort of like party gay. <laughs> uh, what about you, Oliver? I know you've won the queer palm, you've done, you know, some queer things, but this come on, this is this 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 takes a cake for for homosexuality. Right. I mean, yeah, there's definitely, I, I've never had to choreograph as many sex scenes in my <laughs> career. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that was that was definitely interesting. Um, queer is probably the better word because I think the, the nature of the show is kind of, amb everything's ambiguous, everyone's ambiguous, like intentions are ambiguous, sexuality, desire. Mm. Just when you think you know somebody's box, they, they mm. break that box. So mm. I, I think that's the fun of it. Let's talk about the sex then. Okay. <laughs> because. Oh, you first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm, that's too personal. Oh, God, let me get my fan. I'm getting hot yeah. now. Bloody hell with the word. <laughs> God. It felt like the 2010s. It felt very watered down and sanitized. I don't know what. I think it was like people were scrutinizing sex scenes for a while and saying they weren't necessary to the plot. Mm. But it feels like now we're finally in our sex scene era again, we're back. which I'm very happy about. Uh -huh. So I wanted to get your thoughts on that and. You know, how, how important are sex scenes are, you know, in driving the plot forward in some cases, you know, like Mary and George? Mm. Well, I think that you said it exactly. Mm. It, you know, are they pertinent? Do they move the story? Because I think uh, often you'll feel if, if when you watch something extraneous, um, you sort of tune mm. out. There's no, you know, every single scene in a movie should, should move the plot or inform a relationship or give you some more information, and that includes sex scenes. So if they're just there, kind of, you know, you won't engage in it. But I think that 
Um, in this, you're seeing sex as a form of communication, as a, as a, as a form of intimacy, as a form of, of um, dominance yeah. and power seeking. Yeah. There's, there's always a reason for these scenes. So I think when you see that, that, that makes them interesting and relatable. I just did an article, um, the 10 best gay sex scenes of the decade so far. And I'll tell you what, there's about 12 are going in our court when this show comes out. Really? I want to know what they are. Oh, I'll right? send it to you. <laughs> I have your number, don't I? I have your number. <laughs> I'll send it to you later. This time. Mary is the mother. Mm-hmm. And um, gays refer to you sometimes as mother. I want to know if you are aware of that. Well, mother seems to be like a thing on yeah. the internet that that means it's like mm. it's 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 like and and you sort of see I sort of see it I don't know it's, it's about, a badge of honor yeah it's about yeah. female power right mm. is that what it is it's like an affectionate yeah term. it's like yeah. it's like you sort of embody you embody all of the values and you know you're like the, the sort of queen I guess it's, right, it's, right. Like, okay, it's like a title I'll take it yeah you're embracing awesome. it yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah I think I read somewhere that you once watched the Oscars in a gay bar is that correct. Um, I. <laughs> if you can call probably. the Oscars a gay bar, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been in many gay bars. Let's that's put it that way. Mother yeah. behavior. Yeah, okay. that's mother behavior. That yeah, is yeah. mother behavior. <laughs> I'm glad you're embracing it. Okay, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, let's talk about Nicholas because mm-hmm. he is like you, a gay fan favorite because mm-hmm. of various roles. Yeah. What was it like to act opposite him in this? He was wonderful. Mm-hmm. I mean, he we were speaking earlier, but he had the biggest arc in the show. I mean, he really starts as like a, a teenage naif, you know, someone who really knows nothing and is very innocent and very disinterested in anything but his own like little local romance, you know. Yeah, and, made. and he yeah. <laughs> and he turns, you know, and he becomes he becomes an adult who um is the is the is confident and, and and almost dominates the king. You know, mm-hmm. he eventually is corrupted by by power. Um, but he, re- I think, he just did a magnificent job, and he also endured a lot of hardship. He had a really, really physically mm-hmm. grueling part, and yeah. did it all. Lots of skills lots to of learn. Cheer, yeah. yeah. Horse mm-hmm. riding, fencing, fighting, dancing, Viola de Gambas, yeah. dancing. Yeah, really super mm-hmm. hardworking. Yeah. I have to say, one of my favorite scenes I've seen in in recent memory is um, you just, well, not you, Mary, yeah. um, strolling through the forest and then he's just hanging there. Again, spoiler, I'm not sure if I can include that, but I love the dark humor behind it of like, he's just hanging and she's just like, yeah, do you know what? You're going to France. There's, it's a <laughs> very, there, they, I think one of the things that uh, attracted both of us this project was the humor, mm, you know, mm. I mean, it is very, there's some things in it that are pretty extreme and, and dark, but it, I think it's wildly entertaining. Totally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need the, I need the episodes now. I need four, five, six, seven now. I can't <laughs> wait to watch it. Nicholas, um, Rob, Oliver, Nicholas, from your end, what was it like directing him as George? Great. I mean, as I was saying earlier, you know, you, you dream of being able to go to work with actors who are wanting to be there and are like prepared and love it and care about it. And, that's a big part of making something this big kind of move forward is that everyone has to not just do their job, but like they have to sort of be a team player. And I, he could not be more of a team player. He's somebody who goes around and has, you know, is just great with the team around him. Um, so I was really grateful that somebody who was having to carry so much labor on his back uh, could find a, a way of being very light and fun every day. Mm-hmm. I mean, Julianne is the same. You know, she walks into a room and people light up because she, <laughs> she, makes the room warmer and I and for me that's like it takes so much pressure off me because because I because I want everyone to have a good time weirdly it's like a yeah. filmmaking is kind of like hosting a long party it is and it's a collective <laughs> right you know we all participate that's the thing it's I think that's what I love most about about what we do yeah. is that they're everybody is an expert in their own you know in, in their own little field right and we all rely on one another to do their expert thing and so you 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 need that you need absolutely everybody there and you need everyone's engagement and that's exciting it's exciting to depend on each other that way totally. and to you know um yeah i love it and i i love the community aspect of it and the fact that we all make it together hmm. you guys have done an incredible job because i'm not even a historical drama kind of person <laughs> it's not it's not my thing i won't lie but this i'm i'm sold good Great. i'm in it good Final question, Oliver. Sorry, this is not related to Mary and George, but I, ha- I, I have to know. Yes. I have to know. History of sound. Yes. <laughs> we are so excited yes. for this film. Again, the Gay Times readers are going crazy over it. Mm. But can you tell Can you tell me anything? Can you tell me anything at all? What do you know? <laughs> um, we actually didn't. Here's an everything you need to know. But yeah, it was, it was very, it was, it was blank. <laughs> um, what can you tell me? 
it's happening. We're doing it. We're mm -hmm. doing it right now. I'm going back there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the chemistry between Paul Mescal and Joshua? <laughs> or is it under wraps? Is, is it, yeah. They're, 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 on, they're on fire. They're on fire. They're they're, on I mean, they're, fire. they're great friends. They, they, they get on. They're, they love mm -hmm. working together. And this is their first time. And mm -hmm. so, again, like I was saying about Nicholas, it just feels right. Like going to, going to work with them feels mm -hmm. right because they both just love it and care about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so excited. Queen Media at the moment is just incredible. I love it. <laughs> it's great. It's so good. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank I you. can't wait to watch the rest of this.